Hello folks, welcome to another edition of Lord Riggs' Rant of the Day, Volume 1, Number 4. Now before I begin, I've got nothing against deaf people, I love deaf people. I think they're remarkable, resilient people, great contributors to the workforce and, uh, and the social fabric of the community. However, in watching the uh, press briefings daily in the United Kingdom from Australia, I am British in background, so I have an interest. Um, the thought occurred to me that uh, there needs to be translations in other languages apart from just Auslan. So that's all I'm saying. Nothing personal. Here comes my controversial comment. Wouldn't the spread of this killer disease in the United Kingdom be contained faster if they replaced Auslan interpreters with subtitles in Gaelic, Arabic, Spanish, Jewish, French, Cantonese, Portuguese, Dutch, German, Russian, Korean, Japanese, and or Vietnamese. They could do it in little messages, little brief messages in different uh, on the ticker along the bottom of the, the TV screen. Key points, I mean. Because 20 million people from these backgrounds are being excluded. They don't speak a word of English. They're not getting the daily updates. Only a million Auslanians are in the United Kingdom. What about blind people? What's the UK government doing to ensure that the blind are safe? Why discriminate against the blind? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing as they tinker down the street, tapping in against little posts and needing assistance to find out how they can cross the street? Or well, they got their dogs. What's so special about deaf people anyway? No offence. Why can't they receive the message on their own TV channel? Wouldn't that make sense? Why discriminate against the Irish community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? Why discriminate against the UK Islamic community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? Why discriminate against the UK's Indian community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? Why discriminate against the United Kingdom's Spanish community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? Why discriminate against the United Kingdom's Jewish community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? Why discriminate against the United Kingdom's Asian community? Or are they all washing their hands and social distancing? How about some proportionality? That's my point. You might as well just translate it into Basque if you persevere with these damn distracting facial expressions and sign language. For there are more Basque speakers in the United Kingdom than Auslanians. And in closing, no offence. Just making a comment for proportionality. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.